you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 14th 6th sunday in ordinary time let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st mark chapter 1 verses 42 45 A leper came to him begging him and kneeling he said to him If you choose you can make me clean Moved with pity Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him I do choose be made clean Immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean After sternly warning him he sent him away at once saying to him see that you say nothing to anyone let go show yourself to the priests and offer for your cleansing what moses commanded as a testimony to them but he went out and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the word so that jesus could not no longer go into the town openly but stayed out in the country and the people came to him from every quarter the gospel of the lord Praise you Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, lepers were among the most uh, piteous of people in ancient times. Although little known then of the origin of the sickness, it was clearly known to be contagious and therefore greatly feared. The only solution was to isolate the victim and not allow him or her to approach the other people. apart from the appalling physical in disintegrations of body and limbs there was a social ostracism the contempt and the fear which the victim engendered the real pain and suffering were here the it seems the disease itself was for the most part not particularly pain what was probably even more tragedy was that many who were branded as lepers were suffering from some other ailment which may not have been contagious at all the signs of uh, diagnosis are given in the first reading book of leviticus one of the books of the jewish law to our ears they sound primitive indeed if a swelling or a scab shiny spot appears on a man's skin a case of leprosy of the skin is to be suspected when the person really had a leprosy or not the judgment was severe yes the scene in today's gospel occurs during a long passage which describes the sabbath day in the public life of jesus it involves jesus going to the synagogue healing the sick and driving out evil spirits Then this leper approaches Jesus. He is desperate. He falls on his knees before Jesus. There is marvelous faith in his heart, rending appeal. If you want to, you can cure me. This is not to say that Jesus only heals those who wants to heal, but that Jesus has not only wish for healing to be brought about it. It expresses the man's faith in the power of Jesus. He has already seen it. at work in the other people who were healed that day yes it is this faith which gain again and again in the gospel is a necessary and sufficient condition for being made whole again re entering the society yes jesus not only healed or cured but he reinstated the condition of the man the disease man yes he has still to be reintegrated in the community this is the second part of a whole making process yes the man went away and then started talking about it freely and telling the story everywhere so that jesus could no longer go openly into the town indeed how would the man refrain from telling everybody about his wonderful experience of coming in contact with the whole making power of jesus we can ask ourselves today what has our experience of knowing jesus been like how come 
we do not have the enthusiasm of this man so much of our religious living is focused just on ourselves it is perhaps worth noting that the man's experience was the result of uh, having first been the victim of a terrible cross it is often in our crosses that grace appears jesus was forced to go out into the desert to avoid the enthusiastic crowds he was not interested in having fans only genuine followers he would not be ready until his full identity was recognized that would only happen as he hung dying on the cross amen may god bless